Hey guys, one of the cool sections that we talk about in our new book, uh, The Prophecy Pro's Illustrated Guide to Tough Questions About the End Times, is the rapture. And the rapture is something that has been on many, many Christians' minds here recently because of the signs of the times we talked about in our last uh, video episode. Uh, and the rapture is also under attack today. I mean, people are ridiculing the rapture. Uh, there's some famous theologians that have written about it famously, uh, calling it just a fairy tale. It's sort of like, you know, left left at home alone kind of thing, you know, for, mm. for Christians and um, that we've made this up. And so we tackle a lot of those objections in this book. And you're going to want to get a copy of it because, you know, people say the rapture is a recent doctrine. And so, you know what, we find out that's not true. The rapture goes all the way back to the first century, the early church fathers, also back to the New Testament itself. We talk about that. Uh, we talk about the fact that people say, well, the word rapture is not in the Bible, so it, it can't be true, right? Uh, well, guess what, Todd? The word Trinity is not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, the word missions is not in the Bible. Christmas, Easter, yeah. incarnation. In fact, the word Bible is not even in the Bible. That's true. So words that we use to describe doctrines in Scripture are simply ways to help us remember uh, what they're all about. Uh, but the rapture basically uh, is the doctrine we believe in where Christ comes to fulfill his promise that he made to his bride when he said in John 14, if I go away, which he did, mm -hmm. I will prepare a place for you, which he is doing right now. And if I go away, I'll come again to receive you to myself that where I am there, you may be also. And you know what? We live in a world tide of, of broken promises. Yeah. Uh, husbands, wives, dads, children, we, we all make broken promises. Guess what? Jesus makes no broken promises. He's going to fulfill his promise. So the rapture really is, it's not just a cold doctrine of him returning for his bride kind of thing. It's a romance story, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. You know, and it lines up with the Jewish wedding traditions yeah. where the son would come, the father would send the son to pick a bride. They would get engaged. The son would come back home, just like the verse you just read, and then would prepare a place for his bride. And then when the father saw that that place was ready and it was time, he would send his son to go fetch his bride to bring her home. And that's the exact symbolism that's used in the rapture. Mm -hmm. And um, and I like what you said that, you know, it, the, a lot of people are coming against the rapture in our day. Um, yes, it's been abused in certain areas and people have set dates and that kind of right. thing, which Bible does not um, support doing that. But the rapture is a key Christian doctrine. It was a mystery that Paul revealed, and he was able to give a lot of information about it. And then once he revealed that, you see it systematically, you know, in other areas as well. But it is a real thing that's going to happen. It's a, it, does it sound crazy? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but we have the 100% track record of fulfilled Bible prophecy. Yeah. All the other crazy stuff, crazy stuff that God said was going to happen, happened exactly mm -hmm. like it said. So there's no reason for us not to look forward to that. Matter of fact, in the context of the rapture, we're told to encourage one another yeah. with these things. And it's, it's something that's built to encourage us. It's something we look forward to. Uh, using the, the wedding uh, symbology again, mm -hmm. it's it's like a bride looking forward to her wedding day yeah. uh, and that kind of thing. So it should be viewed with excitement. Um, and honestly, it's a key Christian doctrine that in many circles has been kind of sidelined yeah. in recent times. So uh, there's a lot of questions about that. And we answer ten, the 10 big questions mm -hmm. about the rapture in that section on the rapture. Yeah. So if you want to know a quick overview of everything about the rapture, including one like you alluded to, there's a chapter that talks about the history of it, mm. how, the, how in the, what they believed in the first century, what happened during the Dark Ages, and then how after the Reformation, it kind of got revived and formalized. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think God, almost like with uh, Daniel, where Daniel was told, go your own way. These prophecies are not for your time, right. but they're for the end times. Yeah. Here at the end of the age, at the end of the church age, we're given a crystal clear uh, vision, uh, crystal clear uh, understanding mm -hmm. of what the rapture is. Yeah. And so there's no, no surprise that attacks are coming against it. And there's no surprise that there's great interest in it. Absolutely. And, and again, the signs of the times point to that. And it's like God saying, hey, you'll, you'll know when, when you're supposed to get ready. I think the bride is readying herself. You know, as a pastor, Todd, I, I must have done about 80 weddings. And I'll tell you, the guys just showed up with a suit on. That's basically what they did to prepare. The <laughs> girls have been preparing all their life. Yeah. And they live for that day. We as the church should live for that day when Jesus is going to come back. So what we do in the book, we tell you the who, what, when, where, and why. Mm -hmm. We break it down. We go into super slow-mo mode and tell you how the rapture happens. So you're going to want to make sure you read that chapter on the rapture. It'll really encourage you. It'll do exactly what the scripture says it'll do, which is comfort you. 
That's it. So be sure to pick up a copy of the Prophecy Bros Illustrated Guide to Tough Questions About the End Times. And again, it's a book that is a great reference book. So you don't, it's not a really thick theology book. It's, you know, a nice size, but it's because it covers a lot, but it's great. It's topical. It's easy to use, easy to give as a gift to others, whether it's a pastor or a small group leader or for yourself, just to use as reference or to read cover to cover. So it's very, very versatile. Check it out. Pick it up. The Prophecy Pros Illustrated Guide to Tough Questions About the Indians.